Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome to the Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 second beta, which has a bunch of stuff added, you know, compared to the one we had a few weeks ago. Uh, this one, apparently, we were able to play the first sector of both the Imperium campaign and the Necrons campaign. Unfortunately, we're not able to see any Tyranid stuff outside of uh, the skirmish battles and stuff like that. Uh, simply because that campaign is holding off till launch. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and hit up the new campaign, take a look. Now, one thing I have noticed, because I've started up the game before to mess with settings and the like, load times on this game, for me at least, are pretty nasty. So, let's see. We can dive into the Imperium campaign. We can dive into the camp, uh, Necron campaign. Or if you guys would like, we could go through the prologue. For those of you who haven't already seen it, it's the battle for Cadia and all that. So just let me know if you guys have any preference whatsoever. Like, I'm very tempted to go through the Cadia one again. Hmm... Planet Acadia is a cornerstone of the Imperium's defenses and a symbol of mankind's endurance, but after millennia of stalwart defiance, Cadia is beset as never before. Besieged by the corrupted legions of chaos while Lord Castellan, mm, excuse me, Creed marshals the planet's side defense. Reinforcements from across the galaxy scramble to his aid. Cadia stands, but for how long? Not much longer based on the lore, but hey. <laughs> you know what? Let's go ahead and start fresh with this second one. Let's go ahead and play the prologue, because they have actually done some bug fixes and stuff since the last one. Should be a bit more polished. Let's just dive in. Gotta love that music, too. For 10,000 years, the Eye of Terror has spewed its ageless horrors into the galaxy, gnawing at the eternal glories of the Imperium, at the very soul of mankind itself. And for every one of those 10,000 years, the fortress... Hey, Michael, welcome to the stream. ...has held the gate closed. An adamantium bastion, granted strength by flesh and bone, and seeded purpose by faith in the Emperor's holy light. <laughs> but as the darkness grew ever deeper... And the blaze of the Astronomicon guttered like a wind-blown candle. The Eye of Terror pulsed, its baleful energy spilling anew across the stars. He just kind of shows up there. That'd be horrifying. Oh, and it gets worse. <laughs> Of course it gets worse. With a shriek that echoed through nightmares from Medusa to Ultramar, the Black Fleet slipped its moorings. An endless tide of heretics, traitors, demons, <laughs> and madmen whose desperate fealty was given over to a single damned soul. Abaddon the Despoiler, Him. inheritor of the arch-traitor Horus's reviled legacy. The 13th Black Crusade, herald to a fresh age of nightmare, had begun. Stalwart Cadia would be the first <clears throat> to feel its wrath. That's what you spewed. <laughs> black Blackstone Fortress. Without our shields, that accursed hulk will scour Cadia clean. Repairs to the Null Array are underway. We require only a matter of days. The Magos asks for time. I have none to give. My wolves will buy all that he needs. Unearth my battle barge to prepare for my arrival. By the fang, I'll not die without a fight. Please tell me you fixed the pronunciation. Please. We'll see in a second, but please. <laughs> it's one of the main reasons I played the prologue again, too. I want to see if they fixed the... <laughs> They didn't, damn it. <laughs> uh, 
but it is so wrong. Hey, Wasteland it has. Welcome to the stream. We are ready for verification protocol, my lord. Awaiting structural diagnostic. Structural analysis complete. No major issues to report. We stand ready for weapons inspection. Sure. What do you want me to shoot? Ow. <laughs> Just rotate the camera. <laughs> All weapon systems functional. Beginning tactical aspect sweep. God, I love these ship designs. There we go. Oh, okay. You want me to find all this stuff? Gotcha. Sweep complete. What's over here? Nothing? Okay. Alright, head to it. My roost beard. What's no, they so didn't. Long? War calls. Enough with the tinkering. All sections report ready, Lord. <sighs> the fireman's <laughs> fang stands ready for battle. At last. Crew of the fireman's fang. The despoiler's jaws clamp tight about Cadia's throat. His Blackstone Fortress comes to claim the kill. I say nay. Not while the sons of Roos have strength to fight. The valiant dead will shield us from the Black Fleet's curse. We will stalk the will of eternity from amongst the carcasses of its victims. When our fangs are at its belly, we strike with every boarding torpedo and assault craft at our disposal. We get it, dude. We will cripple that Blackstone Fortress however we can. Weapons, shields, engines, all Father Willing, we will tear out its corrupted heart. Good luck. The Blackstone Fortress is so close, I can smell it. We'll have to cross that minefield to reach it. Take us through, Captain. Engines engaged. Uh, this way? Moving to position. Maybe. I don't remember which way to go. Yeah, it bothers me way more than it should that they pronounce Russ Roos, but sure. Underway. It's like it just sounds so wrong. This show this ship feels much slower than it did last time. Oh hey guys. They are pursued. But grander prey awaits. We cannot waste time in fruitless battle. Press on. We'll return once the Blackstone Fortress is a broken hulk. Ain't working on it, dude. You gotta turn, though. Turn! <laughs> oh, I'm sure he will. Oh my god, dude. Turn. Hold course. Turn! Repositioning. To where we are needed. You ponderous behemoth of a bastard. Move! At your command. <laughs> Repositioning. Yeah, man. Engines engaged. And I know there's an all ahead full button and like a. Uh... Oh, Hold size. They're gaining. Contact Cajun Orbital Command. Tell them to detonate the mines. That explosion should clean our tails of these traitors. Yeah, it does look great. But yeah, they won't let me press, yeah, that until they tell me I can. Away we go. Hold call. Screw these guys. Oh, I want to see this. And there you all go. No need to be spiteful about it. Uh, what's this now? My lord, all specs to show one traitor vessel survived the explosion. It has launched a disruption bomb. It'll obliterate our shields. All sections, prepare for high energy turn. Mm hmm Helm, get us clear of the detonation horizon and bring us about to engage that spineless car. Yeah, give me, give me, the, give me the controls then. Yeah, no, it's going to detonate with us in it. 
<laughs> so the traitor longs. Yeah, that one failed. Bring us in close. I want to smell his fear. Oh, he's over here. To where we are needed. Dude, yeah, over there. Red dot is detected. He's not revealed yet, so let's go. Underway. Kill it. <laughs> It will be destroyed. Yep. Fire it will. I want them blooded before we seek their yeah, throat. Let, let me use my weapons then. Yeah, no, I already did that. Initiate targeting protocol. Yeah, I appear to be about to ram it. Now ram it. We took out its shields, all right. Let us test the thickness of his hide. Engines engaged. <laughs> yeah, just fire. Maybe maybe we stick to the broadside. His Lord. eyes are blinded. His fangs gone. We'll settle this with our teeth at his throat. Well, you want me to ram him again? Hold course. Oh, okay. Bored. See how his strength fails. The kill comes soon. At your command. Ready boarding torpedoes. Oh, okay. Moving to position. Sure. I launch boarding torpedoes. I shot those way off target. But they're coming around. I didn't realize they could do that. <laughs> Our boarding torpedoes destroyed by turret fire. So the traitor still has claws. Bring us in closer. Okay. I'll end this myself. Will you? All right, do it. That is impossible. Okay, we got to get you in the right firing arc. To where we are needed. Board. There you go. Our hunt is ended. Let the carcass drift. Yep. The greater quarry yet remains. Sure thing. Okay, stop shooting it. Just a drifting Hulk now. Where's the checkpoint? There's the checkpoint. Go. Engines engaged. I know most of you are not Fenris born. But today it matters not if you feel the fury of Rus in your veins. It matters not if you hail from Fenris, Mundus Pyra, Kaja, or Marsh. Today we are brothers, bound by one single glorious purpose. We ride into death with the fury of heroes, and by our sacrifice, strike a blow worthy of saga and song. For the Emperor, for Kaja. You're gonna let me use all a head full. The moment arrives. <laughs> let the engines roar. The main reason I don't want to destroy it is I can claim it. You can claim it and repair it, apparently. If I remember from the last, um... Yeah, from the last beta. Come on. I know you can move faster than this, dude. Oh, not this particular tutorial? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I played the last beta. I'm really curious to get into the campaigns, though. Ah, right, here we go. Moving to position. Man, we have to go in here, I believe. Oh, it's that one. It's drifting. And the crew are not responding. However, all specs have shown that the vessel itself remains viable. We'll claim the vessel as our own. Ah, there we Reinforcements are. Reinforcements run thin, and even one ship may yet make a difference. Morning, Hollow. Welcome. To where we are needed. All right, so we can just tell him to be gone. We basically need to board it again. Hold course. 
Well, not again. You know what, fine, just... There we go, ship recover. Underway. My lord, our boarding parties have seized command of the derelict. Okay, 200 seconds and it can leave. It won't be of any use to us. Still, it shall not go to waste. Evacuate the ship to Cadia. Its fury will be hard in days to come. This is stop right here. Select the Imperial ship, initiate the warp jump. There it goes. Although with that much damage, I wouldn't want to go anywhere near the damn warp. Ship may suffer damage or even be destroyed. Yep. That's why. Or, you know, possessed and turned into a fleshy, demonic abomination. Lord, we have enemy vessels on approach. Yep. At your command. I'll destroy enemy ships. You don't want me to go in here again? Underway. All right, cool. Let's make them come through this Engine to me, because they will. Because I highly doubt the AI has been that improved. Oh, no, they're going around. Look at that. Yep, that's your target. I mean, they're all little ships, so... Shouldn't be much of an issue for you, dude. Now, one of the nice things about this is I can... Let's go ahead and turn around. Let's turn around. Main batteries, fire. And let's prepare for Moving some ramming. I can ram these dudes without any problem. Moving to position. Yeah, I, mean, I wish I had boost for it, but I'm still gonna murder this. <laughs> that is just all kinds of messed up. Just held it in there in those little between its forward guns. That was awesome. Main batteries fire. All right. Let's mess this dude's day up and turn around. Yep, this is still a pre-release. It is the second beta that's going to go all the way through till the release date of the 24th, Storm Knight. And no, they didn't cor correct the pronunciation at all. It tears at my soul that they haven't changed it. <laughs> Repositioning. At your command. Initiate targeting protocol. Go ahead, finish him. Good God, that damage. And one more shot. You got it. Kill it. Kill it. Thank you. All right, now it's going to tell me to go into the asteroid belt. 10,000 years of hate and still feeble at heart. <laughs> Bring us about. The Blackstone Fortress awaits. My lord, all spexes have detected a colossal signature at extreme range. It must be the Blackstone Fortress. Uh-huh. It's on an inbound heading. Good. We'll wait in ambush. Bring us about into that asteroid field and cut the drive. Make us look like one more drifting hulk. Yeah, let's go. Underway. Because this is a great idea for a ship of this size. I mean, it actually would be in reality, but... 
But <laughs> in this game, it's a bad idea. Yeah, the pronunciation bugs the crap out of me as well, Storm Knight. It's... My lord, the Blackstone Fortress is almost upon us. Hold your nerve. The closer it comes before we reveal ourselves, the greater our chances of success. There it is. That's true, I did. But yeah, it just drives me nuts that they left the pronunciation wrong when they have so many official audiobooks and audio dramas directly from Games Workshop that pronounce it correctly. Yep, and there's plenty of space in asteroid belts for even a ship of this size to fit between them without a problem. Maybe we maybe that's maybe that's what it's reflecting. The Imperium has just really shitty pilots. Their helmsmen just suck. The navigators are good. But once you out of the warp, the rest of the crew just blows. Shifting. This is as close as we're likely to get. Boarding torpedoes stand ready. So shall it be. Command of the Fang is yours. Give her a good death. I love Forus and the old father. <laughs> Forus and the old father. Stop saying it that way. Did we get on? We did. Now we're just going to stay in the asteroid belt. Apparently he doesn't see us. <laughs> just going to keep just launching crap at him. I kind of don't want to move. I mean, I know we can't really win this fight. More boarding torpedoes. Well, here comes his backup. Engines engaged. To where we are needed. And here they come. Repositioning. Get our broadsides working on them. Underway. Yeah, you just keep shooting at him. Um, we're just going to chill in here. I'm sure they don't mind at all. Are you really not going to let me shoot normal torpedoes? That's right. That is impossible. The game does have issues with me. At your command. <laughs> we do need more wog, yes. Yeah, no, they're Long not. Course. I really hate that they're not letting me use my all my abilities. But again, I know we're supposed to Moving lose to this position. fight. Engines engaged. But I do find it hilarious that they haven't shot back. Repositioning. Oh, now they see me. Oh, good God. <laughs> Nope, they saw everybody's getting murdered now. Standard speed engaged. No more stealth. Keep yep. Firing. <laughs> Keep firing. Can you stand? <laughs> I wanted to see how long it would take before yeah, they spotted me and just unloaded. Sven Bloodhound. <laughs> stalwart of a brotherhood famed for their courage <laughs> but sometimes courage is not enough initialization failed null array inert 
Insufficient power. Insufficient power. I know that axe. Reroute failed. That is a beautiful thing. Power surge. Processing. No data. Power building. Scarabs. Null array deploying. Did they cut out some of the cutscenes? Not through the bravery of Sven Bloodhound nor the labors of Magus clan, but through the intercession of a mysterious benefactor. Ooh, those drop pods. The respite was short-lived. As the cheers faded, traitor warships blackened the sky. I mean, there's plenty of them. The siege of Cadia Secundus had begun. The forces of the Despoiler came in numbers uncounted, but the walls of Casa Craft held. Even in that darkest of days, the flame of humanity's valor burned bright. With faith burning in their hearts, the defenders held the Chaos Hordes at bay, uncaring of the losses they bore in exchange. But flesh fails and faith flickers. With every bloody moment, Abaddon's forces drew closer to victory. Here we go. Uh, yeah, pretty much in the final battle of Cadia, basically. Uh, reinforcements came from all over the Imperium, including the Sisters of Battle. And pretty much, I don't know if I would say every chapter, but a damn good portion of them showed up as well, of the Space Marines. Well, when you're basically being attacked by millions of ships, including a several that are like planet killers, like the Blackstone Fortresses and Abaddon's flagship, yeah, it's kind of a problem. Oh yeah, the Smurfs were definitely there. <laughs> and here we are. No voice acting at this point again. We need the location of Abaddon's main fleet before we strike. Admiral, lead a reconnaissance patrol. Be our eyes. Exactly, Captain Carradin. We can't proceed until those defense platforms are destroyed. Okay. Ship redeployment. Let's go. All vessels engage drives. All right. Let's go. Rig our light cruisers for silent running. We'll let our bombers handle this. Oh, oh okay. So you want me? Ah. Going silent. Yeah, go silent then. Bring us into position, Captain. Okay, you want me to go there? I can go there. Heading acknowledged. Yep, limited uses of certain weapons and... Especially during the tutorial. I've been bitching about this since we started, though. The tutorial basically saying, no, you can't do that. It's like, well, that's the right move. Yeah, well, no, you can't do that right now. Shut up. Do what I tell you to do. <laughs> so, yeah. But, God, I've always loved the look of these games, though. Sure, they haven't they haven't changed the game too much, but yeah, to launch it's still gorgeous. Uh, which one do you want me to kill? Star I'll kill that one. Nah, I won't send them to do to uh, two different targets. Okay, they want me to. Fine. Loaded and sent. I was just thinking Finish we'd team this. up on one. All weapons fire at will. Let's do it. Fire away. <laughs> now 
That's true. A lot of, a lot of shit went down <laughs> during that siege wasteland. Okay, just don't, just don't, don't ram each other, guys. Work together. <laughs> no ramming. Yeah, kill this thing while we kill these. You got this. Enemy defense platform destroyed. Man, they destroyed that before we are all our broadsides dealt with that one. Enemy defense platform destroyed. All right. Now, if I remember, setting course. Bunch of chaos coming from this direction. So they had time to call for reinforcements. Prepare to engage. None shall escape. Uh-huh. Oh, nope. I was wrong. Course engaged. Okay, guys. Into formation is fine. Okay, take we down his shields. The situation. We cannot risk a foolhardy engagement. Uh-huh, I know. First, we'll grant all ship's captains full autonomy to maneuver. Okay. Ship ready. Let's see, auto engagement. There you go. Go for it. I don't like doing that, now, but let's do it. Priority target. All right. So, designate priority target. There we go. Finally, we'll focus fire on the target's weapon systems to reduce their firepower. I'd love to, Michael, but they're telling me I have to do all this other stuff. Unleash the Emperor's Fury. All sections to battle stations. Blow those abominations apart. I'd very much like to. Send the bombers in. Its shields are down. I don't see them being loaded and sent. There you go, that's better. Take him down. What was that? That was too, way too late for those torpedoes. Take it down. Come on. I Admiral. Really like it if you stayed over here, but okay. We wait your command. Kill it. I agree, Hollow. <laughs> Dude, just one more shot. There you go. Thank you. For the Emperor! <laughs> All right. Take out. You know what? Take down the dude's generators. Your orders? Starhawks loaded and sent. <laughs> Some weird distortion kicking up here. I had it during the original recording of this game as well. Not sure why. I'm 
Let's do this. He's almost dead, right? Getting there. Beautiful, thank you. Pretty. God damn. Come on. He almost did. Ship ready. Uh, how about we get you oh, out of there? Full. There we go. I feel better about that. Additional traitors on all specs. Where from? All vessels regroup. Behind us. Admiral, the crew are revolting. A mutiny. Oh, I know how to handle a mutiny. Your excuses do not concern me, Captain. Crush the mutineers and bring your ship into the fight. Am I understood? I mean, I'm aware. You failed for the last time, my lord. The mutiny has been contained. Morale is ebbing, but we stand ready to fight. At last. Now, seize this precious chance at redemption. For you and for your crew. Let's get away out of here while our shields awaits. regenerate. Aye, Admiral. We'll come back around. We wait your command. And there's their long range attacks. Hi right, guys, come around. Understood. Or keep going this way. Acknowledged. Either or. It's kind of messed up. I kind of missed Engaging the... Engines. They got rid of that whole... Uh, what's it called? Target locked in. Um, they got rid of the whole unenthusiastic commissar. Just flat out murdering that dude. That was the best part. We serve. Oh yeah, go ahead, do the auto engagement, it's fine. I mean, I don't trust you guys, but do the auto engagement, sure. We wait your command. Yep, I know. I was actually gonna save them for the heavier dude, because they're not all these light dudes. Because yeah, there's that thing. Hawks loaded and sent. Now we focus Engaging. on this dude. Because they will put rounds into him on their way. Your orders? Oh, good God. Ship ready. Targeting enemy vessel. Actually, yeah, just keep we wait your command. trying to get to this dude. Oh, there they go. Your orders? Yep. I get to keep reusing them as much as I want. Like, don't let him get away. Underway. Right there. We serve. Changing course. How about oh, you don't have torpedoes. Engaging okay. Target. Oh man, we missed. 
Alright. Starhawks and Starhawks. Yeah, the bombers are awesome. Makes me really curious to see how all the other ones, how all the other races, like aircraft, are gonna fare. Because traditionally, Chaos Fighters are better than Imperial ones. And Eldar ones are just brutal. Traditionally, I don't know how it's how it's gonna be in this game. Just snipe the poor lone remaining ship. Trying to get out of detection range. We can't allow... Oh, no, he's coming back around. All right, Starhawks. Starhawks Might as well. And sent. <laughs> I, Admiral. The Emperor. Okay. Let's not get too heretical here, Michael. The Emperor is always the answer. <laughs> For the Emperor! See? He knows. That's how the Imperium is still alive. And death to that ship. Next wave. Engaging engines. More chaos vessels inbound. Emperor's teeth. If failure is to be my fate, I'll face it with the Emperor's light in my eyes. Uh-huh. This is Admiral Harbright to all vessels. We fight to the death. Setting course. We die. Is what I'm hearing. Time before reinforcements, so run, burn. basically. You do not want to be in the middle of this. I don't know why you just stayed in our path, but okay, I will ram you. We wait your command. Continue. Move, guys, move. We serve. Stop ramming him. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Underway. Ramming speed can cease. Aye, Admiral. Seriously, dude. Command. Admiral, this would appear to be the despoiler's main fleet. All specs readings confirm the presence of a Blackstone fortress. Oh, goody. Signal the phalanx. Our mission ends in success, but our duty abides. <laughs> all ahead full. Yep, all ahead full. Get out of here. Move. And boy, are those some reinforcements that we're about to get. Ship ready. I'm just gonna Causing come chill in here. Maximum Everybody burn. is gonna go chill in there. We wait your command. Reinforcements. For the love of all that's holy. Reinforcements. <laughs> oh, and here it comes. Incoming transmission from Phalanx. Oh, there it is. You've done your part, Admiral. I hereby take command of this engagement. We'll give that Blackstone Fortress an opponent worthy of its size. Oh, there it is. There's my boy. Underway! <laughs> Commodore Trubo, what is our status? Estimates are still formulating, but we confirm the Sanctus Malefic, the Apocalyptia, the Vengeful Spirit. Emperor, shield us, but we're staring at half of the Black Fleet. Maybe more. Understood. And Cadia itself? Preliminary scans and box chatter confirm fighting on all continents. The greatest concentration appears to be at Casa Kraf on Cadia Secundus. The Herald of Absolution is inbound with our Adeptus Sororitas allies. Good. 
Remind all Storm Talon squadrons that Celestine must make planet for. And here she all comes. Our concerns are secondary. Confirmed. Captain, there's a Blackstone Fortress in near orbit. Tentatively identified as the Will of Eternity. Vox Chatter confirms the Fire Main's fang has already failed to bring it to ruin. Oh, crap. Indeed. A rare figure Ow. from the sons of Roos. <laughs> the so-called saint was correct. These are dark days indeed. Stay in there. <laughs> as they always are in dark days, Commodore. We bring the Emperor's fire and burn away the darkness. Prepare for battle. Oh, yeah. That is so pretty. Vanguard vessels closing fast. Brittle foes to be crushed beneath the phalanx's good right arm. Fire away, guys. From their vector, they don't intend to duel with our guns, but to ram us. We must brace for impact. Sound collision alarms. All hands. Brace for impact. Ah. Where is it? There it is. Go. Come on. Kill all these chaos bastards. We have visual on the will of eternity, Captain. Almost in weapons range. Is it? Acknowledged. All crews to battle stations. Hold this course. All ahead full. Take us down into its black crawl. Get to work, guys. All ahead full. Aye. It seems we have their attention. Additional vessels closing on intercept course. They're closing too swiftly to evade. Let the fleas bite. The phalanx's hide is thick. Too thick for their teeth. Hell yeah. Hold main batteries for my order. <laughs> Can you imagine a better time for a mutiny, though? Then just before you're about to ram something of that size. See, it happened again. I can't think of a better time for a mutiny, frankly. Bomb this thing into oblivion. We serve. Starhawks loaded and sent. Okay, I have another set I can send right now. Get him. Starhawks loaded and sent. I admiral. Oh, these guys are getting slammed. Brace Holy crap! Impact. At your command. We wait your command. Ship ready. Do everything you can. Your orders? Yeah, Whatever we lost that ship. Okay. Unleash the Phalanx's fury. Let Abaddon oh, no. know we've come for him. We serve. Yeah, keep going for this dude. That's your number one priority. Fortress shields are holding. We're barely scratching it. Keep firing. We'll flay that abomination an inch at a time if we must. Sure. At your order. Oh, these guys are screwed. We wait your command. I admiral. Take out what you can. Captain, the will of eternity shields are down. Impossible. Confirm. Confirm. They're gone. I'll wager my right hand they have wolves loose in their belly. The fangs of Fenris bite deep. It's our turn now. Main batteries, open fire. Have we not this Send whole time? Hope to hell. Yeah, I seem to think we've been fight we've been doing that this whole time. My little ships lasted longer than I thought they would, though, frankly. Ram it! Blackstone Fortress is coming apart. We're too close. If its reactors go critical, that was beautiful. the will be caught in the blast. The damage. The sons of Dawn are too stubborn to die. Why should his regal daughter prove different? 
Gaze on the Blackstone Fortress's death, Consul. Gaze and rejoice for service fulfilled. Uh huh. I wouldn't be cool with that again. I mean, I I don't care if I'm stationed on something like this. Oh, I still God. wouldn't be cool staying that close to that thing when it goes critical. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like one or two of our companionships was still alive, Michael. I think I lost one. I know you. I also don't trust you. Archmagos. Your reputation precedes you, but you choose a bleak time to come to Cadia. Bleaker than you know. My adepts uncovered pylons on Area 6. They are a perfect match for those present on Cadia, but were reduced to null during the Fourth Black Crusade. Abaddon. His malice holds greater purpose than we knew. Agreed. Ruined pylon fields have been discovered on many worlds, all unmade by the despoiler. Why? Their heritage is alien, their purpose unknown. Well, not really. The pylons forges remain shrouded, known only to the Omnissiah, but their purpose is revealed. They contain the Eye of Terror. If they are destroyed, the Immaterium will claim all. The Imperium will be no more. The pylons must be safeguarded. They are our only weapon against the encroachment of chaos. But I need time to study. Go, make your studies. May the Emperor guide you. Don't think it's the Emperor that's guiding this particular creature. Just saying. Don't trust him. Look at the Titans. <laughs> Honestly, I'd trust the Necrons well before I would trust Call. Say Necron, Neither lovely. Desires to see this galaxy ripped asunder by the Imperial ones. Destroy me if you wish. Nothing will change for me, for you, for this world. Show me. Very nice. Hard not to root for the Necrons when, um, well, when Call is such a dick. <laughs> All his plotting. Admiral, I believe so, Wasteland. Madness. Entering real space so close to a planet, you'll doom us all. A good officer commands without doubt and obeys without question. Oh, I remember you. Entering real space in three, two, one. Blessed Emperor, we're in the heart of the fight. This is Admiral Catalia to Battlegroup Silver Dawn. Form up. Oh. Oh, that is so cool. Incoming enemy squadrons! Race for impact! We've lost the purity blade! 
mean? Silver what do you Dawn expect? Cadian High Command. Where do you need us? This battle is lost. We must disengage. Coward. Oh, here we Commissar. are. Commissar, do your duty. As the Emperor wills. Oh, Incoming he doesn't sound bored this time. Great. Right. Challenge to Silver Dawn. This is Commodore Chavo. Situation critical. Chaos forces have launched a full-scale planet strike. They aim to destroy the pylons of the Elysian fields. They must not succeed. Reinforce the position. The phalanx will cover your back. Remain vigilant. We have reports that the despoiler leads the assault. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. Silver Dawn, this is the Admiral. All ahead full. Prospects readings indicate unusual energy signatures at the Elysium fields. Explain. I, I think more. so, Wasteland. By the Emperor. On the size, Grace. This is beyond my experience. <laughs> Analyzing. Hurry. What are we looking at? Analyzing complete. The pylons. The energy beam is repelling the eye of terror. How is that possible? No matter. Our duty remains. Prepare for planet strike. Incoming transmission. It's the phalanx. The despoiler has retreated to the vengeful spirit to lick his wounds. We cannot let this opportunity slip away. All vessels, engage the vengeful spirit. Good luck. For the salvation of mankind and vengeance long due, we will destroy this abomination once and for all. This is Admiral Catalia to Battle Group Silver Dawn. We have our orders, and we're closer than anyone else. Today, the Arch Traitor dies at our hands. Divert all power to weapons. Load torpedoes. We are the Emperor's fury. We shall not fail. <laughs> fail. Fire! All weapons! The Vengeful Spirit is firing, sustaining hull damage, structural breaches on all and decks. There goes your squadron. No! No! Weapon system, critical. Reactor, critical. Fires reported on all decks. We are heavily damaged. Estimated crew loss, 65,000. Oh, yeah. The Vengeful Spirit Definitely intercepted boned. our torpedoes. No significant damage. What? What have I done? My pride. My arrogance. Kind of sounds like the Imperium as a whole. Original chaos vessels inbound. Ooh, where? Very well. If that is how this ends. If we are to die, let it be with the Emperor's light in our eyes and his fury in our voice. We fight on. After All losing 65,000 members. One of last Earth. effort before they overwhelm us. Make this count. Admiral, the enemy are peeling away. No, you must be mistaken. Confirmed. They are moving towards the wreckage of the Blackstone Fortress. Mm -hmm. What? What are they doing? Vox officer, transmit a wideband message to all forces on Cadia. Tell them to evacuate the planet. Now! Well, most if not all Chaos ships were Imperial at one point. They are some ancient vessels, Michael. So, yeah. I mean, they still build their occasional ship. Well, probably more than the occasional ship, but they still have a lot of old pattern Horus Heresy era ships. I'd say probably that. Both sides have forgotten. And that wasteland, they're stupidly expensive.
<laughs> Very cool. Now, we have choices to make. We have the Imperial campaign and the Necron campaign. The far-flung Imperium of Man knows only a war for survival assailed by traitors, treacherous Xenos, and the uncaring galactic wastes. Humanity battles on as the Emperor's light grows ever darker. The Cadian Gate stands besieged by abominations from within the Eye of Terror. It falls to Admiral Spire, a hero of the Gothic War, to marshal the Imperium's scattered fleets and hold the line against the horrors of chaos. There's your answer, Wasteland. And the Awakening stirred from their eon-long slumber. The undying Necrons come to claim anew the galaxy they once dominated. With their territories awash with warring primitives or assailed by the current of the otherworldly warp, the legions of the Neferu dynasty will have to prove their technological supremacy once more if they seek to establish their dominion once more. Necrons can use dolmen gates to swiftly move between distant locations. All dolmen gates are linked together as if they were connected by safe routes. So Necron fleets can move from any system with the dolmen gate to another one at the cost of one movement point. Imperium has no special abilities. And the one campaign we can't touch. Platinum assimilation, vanguard forces, and defensive structures. So, yeah. And I do love the fact that all three campaigns will play dramatically differently. Like, you can build ships in the Imperium campaign. It's the traditional campaign. The Necrons have to awaken their ships uh, by, I think, claiming Tomb Worlds. And the Tyranids, I'm sure you guys can guess. Eat a planet, create more troops. <laughs> Alright, let's dive into the Imperium one. I do want to do the Necron one as well, but let's start with the Imperium one. Especially with... Um, uh, what was it called? The We have the first sector of the Imperium and the Necron campaigns ready to go. And I'm curious how Spire comes back. Considering this is well after what his lifespan should have let him live to. Come on. The Imperium of Man. Mm -hmm. A million worlds scattered across an uncaring galaxy. A million worlds forever under threat from the machinations of cursed traitors and perfidious Xenos. It is an empire consumed by war, by the very battle for survival itself. For there is no peace amongst the stars. Finish the line. The Space Marines, Aww. genetically modified warriors who know no fear, spearhead every counter-assault. Taking the battle to the heart of the foe. From the smoke wreathed horror of Adeptus Mechanicus Forge Worlds sail warships of fearsome potency, their weapons blessed by the Machine God, and their crews dedicated to the Omnissiah's holy cause. Good point. They were screwed the as soon as that ship showed up. Callow flesh into leaders. Officers of the Imperial Navy, the greatest fleet ever to span the stars. Debatable. These heroes dedicate their life to the Imperium's defense, confronting the ceaseless threat of chaos wherever it manifests. The war against the Dark Gods and their worshippers is the eternal battle for the soul of mankind, for the future of the galaxy itself. It is the forge upon which true heroes are struck and legends tempered. Admiral Spire is one such legend, savior of the Gothic sector, vanquisher of Warmaster Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. For centuries he has been lost, trapped in the shifting tides of the Immaterium while in pursuit of the hated foe. Such travails would drive an ordinary man to madness or into the clutches of the very gods he once opposed. But Spire is no ordinary man, and his time is coming once more. We're out. 
praise the Emperor, but I can see the stars again. Receiving distress signals. The region's alive with them. According to the timestamps, Admiral, the year. It's 999M41. We've been lost in the warp for over 800 years. Oh, there you go. And Cadia, the hymnals report that it's been destroyed, sir. There's a lot of confusion out there, sir. And Admiral, Cadia fell at Abaddon's hand. Then we are returned not a moment too soon. Navigator, chart a course to the Cadian system. We may be an age too late to join the battle. But revenge is still within our grasp. Warp engines online. Geller Field holding. This is Admiral Spire to all Imperial vessels. Rally at coordinates 154-554. This isn't over. Can you imagine his crew's reaction when... They got out of the warp after 800 years, and he's like, back into the warp. Man, fuck that. <laughs> At that point, I wouldn't blame his whole crew from lynching him. Holy shit. It's like, back into the warp after 800 years, and we're going after Abaddon again. After he just blew up... The most fortified place, well, second most fortified place in Imperial space, which means he's probably got a much larger fleet than what we fought before. But hey, it's fine. Let's go. We got this. Okay. Such turbulence. Not since the Eye of Terror have I felt anything like it. Wait. This is not the Cadian system. You sure? Navigator, report. Uh-oh. I don't like the, the look of that. The Imperium rides, Lord Admiral. Uh-oh. It has flung us far off course. Yeah, no. I can see that, Domitian. Where are we? Star sights indicate we've entered real space in the Cadian sector. Confirmed. Not too far. But not close enough. Still, we have been fortunate. Have our astropaths send out a hymnal. All surviving vessels in the sector to rally at our position. Cadia needs our aid. Warship signatures inbound, Lord Admiral. Chaos vessels. Indeed. Then our retribution begins. We hold this position. So what ship did you bring, dude? What is this I smell? Another so-called warrior come to chance his blade? I am Lord Admiral Spire. I will be your death. Not this day, lapdog. My lieutenants come to claim your skull. It shall adorn the War Master's throne. We shall see. I want to look at the ship. Ready main batteries. Oh, there she is. <laughs> yes. Underway. Let's go. <laughs> I would love it if the orcs just showed up out of Setting nowhere course. right now, like... Yeah, yeah. Engaging engines. <laughs> Changing course. You know what? If he's just chilling right there. Heading acknowledged. Fire. Too late, son of a... Engaging! Alright, murder it. <laughs> Coordinates acknowledged. Come on, dude. Shoot at it. There you go. So what do you guys think? By the end of the campaign, do you think we'll see any information about... Uh, Spire having been corrupted all that time in the warp, or at least being like executed or accused of being, you know, corrupted by his time in the warp. Course engaged. Setting course. All right. Enough of this. Changing course.
Fire away. Understood. Broadsides. Targeting enemy vessel. Uh, I don't know that I want to use my torpedoes this early. Engaging I can only engines. use them two more times. And it's just an escort class. I mean, it's messing me up because apparently my dudes don't want to shoot. <laughs> well, he's just so much faster than we are. Heading acknowledged. Engaging target. I do hate that there's a timer on my torpedoes now. Engaging engines. Yeah, but you can't imagine everybody's gonna trust him. <laughs> Course engage. Like I wouldn't trust him. I don't care what kind of hero of the Imperium he is. Understood. Been gone that long, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm here to save the day." Uh huh. And what demon am I talking to today? Target locked in. Setting course. For the Emperor. Engaging target. Changing course. Understood. Okay. Underway. I wouldn't actually connect at this point if I launched a torpedo. Coordinates Turn around, dude. Engaging Get a engines. little bit closer. Setting course. Oh, is this what you want to do? Course engaged. Hello, little dude. Heading acknowledged. Understood. Oh, he is going to get blasted. Engaging Not by everybody, engines. they weren't. Targeting enemy vessel. Fire. Course engaged. Yeah, it is a pretty common pro. Oh my god, back into there, huh? <laughs> You know what? Board him. Mess him up. There you go. <laughs> Mutiny. Lord Admiral, Fire. The sons of Mars stand ready for your orders. Excellent. Their firepower will be a great asset. Well met, Fabricator. How many ships do you bring me? Two. All that could be found, Lord Admiral. I regret that we bring enemies on our heels. Duty breeds enemies, Fabricator. Join your fire to ours. Yep. We'll see them ended. Everybody Changing get over course. here. I don't know, from what I remember, there were even there were some other chapters and factions that kind of don't want anything to do with them, though. Let's join up. Underway. Target locked in. All right. Turn around. Forget Return fire. The yeah, they are. Engaging. Setting course. Fire away. For the Emperor. I don't remember what their benefits were in the original game. I imagine they have different ones now. Target locked in. Transition begun. With matchless efficiency. Oh, that is a obey. tiny amount of torpedoes. Optimal Hopefully they set. are decent. 
Engaging target. All right. Let's go for better firing speed. Do it. Targeting enemy vessel. I sure I appreciate being marked. Heading acknowledged. No, no, no. Turn. Underway. Engaging engines. Understood. Get closer. 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 Fire. So Spire, let's see how ready you are to be back in the field. Changing course. You missed them both. <laughs> nice. <laughs> course engaged. Oh lord. Okay, let's try that again. Changing course. Maybe Changing this time course. we can actually ram them. Underway. Coordinates acknowledged. Now, a little bit more. There you go. That felt better. <laughs> Good point. We probably could have just reached out the window and put them down. Engaging target. All right, Engaging. take out the mutinying ship. <laughs> target locked in. Man, those are hitting every side of that ship, except for the actual off to every side. Man, it's a fair point, Wasteland. For the Emperor. Come on, murder him. Murder him. There he goes. That's the last of them, my lord. Negative. They were but the tip of the spear. I calculate that the others will soon arrive. It matters not. I led a fleet through the bleakness of the Gothic War. By comparison, this is nothing. <laughs> a pity that war cost us our greatest heroes. But I wouldn't give to have Captain Abradol at my side. All decks report ready. Good. We shall forge <laughs> new heroes this day. Let us hope they suffice. Compared to the Gothic War, this is nothing. Man, acknowledged. Spire's Seems in for a hell of a battle. shock. All ships. The Emperor protects. Engage at will. Survival probabilities are unfavorable. Recommend we withdraw. All ships, hold position. Doubt forms the path to damnation. There is no doubt while strength abides. Beneficent Emperor? Is that what I think it is? The sons of dawn heed your call, Lord Admiral. Nice, let's go. It's good to see vessels of the Adeptus Astartes, <laughs> Captain. Faith is well enough, but hope and faith bring victory sooner. Honestly, I don't know if they're the going to let me capture them quite yet. Admiral. We shall fight it together. But I'm willing to give it a try. Vanguard Mark III, the Void Inquisitor. Okay, what do you have? I'm gonna pause this for a moment. I wanna look at these skills, because I'm unfamiliar with them. Opens fire on enemy squadrons, torpedoes, or interceptor. B 
the Annihilator is... Okay. Bomber, and that's the boarding one. Regain control of ally drifting hulks. Yeah, that's what I that's what it said right there, Shadow Sentinel. It says you can only um can ah, take control of ally drifting hulks. So yeah, I guess I can't capture chaos vessels, which would make sense. I don't imagine most captains would be cool with like you know, taking over a chaos ship. Feel our might. All right. Go Thunderhawks. Oh. Annihilator. Alright, take this dude. Engines. Space Marines got this fight for now. Okay, yeah, those are dying. Never mind. <laughs> I have no doubt you would, Michael. I have no doubt you would. Oh, I'm coming for you, you chaos bastard. The braggart spite. Seems appropriate. <laughs> Boarding! I mean, if we're gonna have Space Marine ships, we're gonna board them, right? Target locked in! I mean, what better option? <laughs> and more boarding I know that enemy's still alive but I'd rather kill the big dude dude you are going to get rammed rouse the engines turn Thruster routines active. Get to him. Engaging. Ah, there he is. Revere the Omnisire. Okay, we're about to have a collision. Never mind. Engines <laughs> engaged. Turn faster. Damn, that hit hard. Get on there. Moving to position. Everybody bored. Engaging target. Calculating vectors. How about you get back in there and kill this thing? With matchless efficiency. Lore's destiny, huh? Repositioning. Well, there you have it. Target on screens. <laughs> Underway. Hold course. Good lord, the Imperius Draconis the is engines. not doing great. Thruster routines active. Yeah, let's use that. Honor the chapter. And then send more of these. I don't know why you stop moving every time you launch an ability, dude. Engaging so this little dude's kind of pissing me off, so... Calculating vectors. Let's see how he likes the light cruiser coming straight for him. Oh, temporary, temporarily damaged. Engines. Fix it. Optimal course set. Nah, 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 little dude. Engaging drive. Transition begun. Thruster routines active. You keep on his tail. With matchless efficiency. There you go. I told you he was pissing me off. <laughs> Battle protocols engaged. 
Rouse the engines. Target on screens. Ha, <laughs> ah, that felt good. Everybody bored that thing. You want to join in on the boarding, Spire? Join in on the boarding. Changing course. Setting course. All ships fight. Understood. Heading acknowledged. Coordinates acknowledged. And here we go. I'm channeling my inner orc. That's what this is. Destroyed, Lord Admiral. No further signatures. <laughs> and allied ships. Nothing more. Others may be inbound. We can wait no longer. Let stragglers seek our trail amongst the dead. We have a fleet. I must confer with Lord High Admiral Drang as how best to employ it. Sure, Drang is dead. We will have vengeance for Cadia. Or someone told you about Drang, but I'm sure he's dead if he's from your time period. Just a thought. Damn straight, Spire's roughnecks. Everyone fights, everyone dies. The challenge before us is bleak. But we shall prevail if the Emperor wills it. The Despoiler will be driven back. But we need support. We must secure planetary systems within the battle zone. These will provide us the necessary means to strengthen our fleets. Okay, Chaos Controls. Wow, okay. We have one of 12 systems under our control. Okay, that's a lot of information. We are currently located in the Cadian Sector. The sector is constituted of several systems whose conquest allows you to progress through the campaign. Gotcha. The threat level represents the will of an enemy faction to conquer a sector. The higher it is, the more that faction will be active there. Gotcha. The urgency gauge symbolizes the urgency of your situation facing enemy factions. It fills up each turn and drops when you fulfill objectives. So what's the urgency thing? Income. Active fleets, command capacity. Ooh, I love the fact that I get multiple fleets. Okay. The urgency gauge is divided into five sections. When a section is filled, the threat value of all enemy factions is raised by one. If the last, last segment is filled, the campaign ends in failure. Thanks. Select the Belisar system. Let's go. Use the... to select points of interest, okay. There can be one or several points of interest in each system. Each one is linked to attributes that have different effects depending on the faction controlling the system. Oh, this is awesome. Holy shit. Hi. Oh, wow. It's an actual campaign map, not one masquerading as a campaign map. Ah, let's click on Belisar. <laughs> Evolution level. After several turns on your control, points of interest may be evolved by spending resources. That doesn't seem like the word you would use for the Imperium controlling a planet. Just gonna say. Devolve is frankly more likely, but hey. Attributes. Effects provided by the points of interest may vary depending on the evolution level of the system. Ah, lore. Belisar stones wail with the death agonies of a slaughtered population. Put to the sword at the direction of the traitor Lucius the Eternal, the psychic echoes still linger in the warp, making travel to and from Cursed Belisar a risky endeavor for any navigator not fully in command of his faculties. Yet the Imperium cannot afford to leave Belisar unpopulated, and has begun shipping in new colonists. Camp suppressants have been issued in an attempt to reduce suicide numbers. 
<laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Lucius the Eternal the dude that in the lore is supposedly famed for being like one of the greatest swordsmen or whatever, yet he constantly gets his ass kicked? Like, Every novel that discusses him talks up his skill, and then he inevitably gets the shit kicked out of him, if he is the guy I'm thinking about. All right, let's see here. So what do they want me to do with this? I'll oh, select Admiral Spire's fleet. Let's do it. Demios Binary has much to offer our future operations but it is occupied by chaos forces. We shall sweep them aside and restore the Emperor's rule to this stolen world. Okay. Yeah, and because of the whole eternal thing, he gets his ass kicked, dies, and then comes back to life, so... Yeah. <laughs> He's one of the best in the system, given someone else doesn't show up. Nice. System annexation. Defeat enemy forces stationed in a system to take control of it. Neutral systems are seized as soon as one of your fleets move in. Neutral systems in the Imperium. That's funny. Fleet power. The fleet power represents the might of a fleet. Depends on the value, health, and other parameters of the ships. Fleets have a pool of movement points that replenishes at the start of each turn. Can I name units? Let's see. I would imagine, yes. Maybe not Spires. Oh, I can zoom in. Oh, I'm going to zoom in and look at this thing. Ooh. The best part of the game right already. Ah, uh, yes, I can rename the ships at least. And I imagine... I could probably name fleets, unless they already have names. Nah, it doesn't really... Oh, the Ninth Gothic Battle Fleet? Nope, doesn't let me change that one. I'm not surprised, though. If I can change the name of a fleet... Uh, I imagine it would not be Spire's fleet. Alright. Like, where do you want me to click, dude? Oh, right click. There will be many risks in the days to come. I need not take one here. Deploying a second fleet to Demios Binary will ease our victory. But Spire, I thought you said this, you know, this, um, this war was nothing compared to the one you came from. Why you need help? Cocky sumbitch. We outnumber the foe. <laughs> Victory is all but certain, but caution must serve as well as haste. Recklessness is a terrible master. So you want me to bring the last one? Okay. Let me let me let me bring the other fleet. Fine. Battle preparation. The engagement board allows you to make the final preparations. Yep, I know. Leadership value represents the maximal accu accumulated fleet value that can be deployed at the start of the battle. Uh, gotcha. Reinforcement ships can be deployed due to le leadership limitation will replace lost ships during the battle. Oh, I like that. <laughs> 